notice in your area and what people are wearing, what people buy, and stuff like that. Because now spring and summer is coming up, even though winter is still here. Spring and summer is coming up, so quit making those sweaters. Sandy, I'm talking to you. No, I'm just kidding. But quit making those sweaters. Quit making those hats. Start making your summer things. So, um. You see nothing? <laughs> you see nothing? You see nothing? Hi, Yarn and Bees. It's me, Sandy. How are you today? So guess what? I have been challenged. Yes, I have. I have been challenged by Jeanette at Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts. Yep. She says that I need to stop making those sweaters and start making something for summer. So guess what? Bam! Ta-da! I did. Na 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 boo boo. <laughs> I attempted to make a cover up. Some no, I guess it's not really a cover up. Um, I don't know what to call this, but it's a summer jackety kind of you know over your tank top kind of yeah. So, so look, it's all holy. <laughs> I used, I think I was talking about this before. It's the DMC denim. And I got it from Hirschner's. And this is a, do, 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 do. what is this? I think it's a, three weight. It doesn't really say on here. It's very vague, but it's a three weight. I'm pretty sure. Um, the color is number 16. It's, it, oh, it is, it looks brown, but it's actually purple. So it's like a deep grape purple. So pretty. I'm going to swing you over here a little bit. Urgh. There you go. <clears throat> so um, it comes in a 50 gram ball. And I used quite a bit. <laughs> Let's see. How many did I use here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15 balls to make this. And it, it's quite long. To be honest, it's, oh, and this is cotton. It's 100% cotton, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's called Just Cotton. Um, and to be honest, I really enjoyed working with this. There's one issue that could be a deal breaker for some people. It smells terrible. Um, I still have to wash this, so I'm really hoping that the smell comes out of it. It's a very chemically smell. And to be honest, yeah, it's a very chemical smell. I'm wondering if, because I remember Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches was saying that the chameleon cotton smelled like that. And I'm wondering if this is the same smell that she was talking about, because this is harsh. It's a harsh chemical smell. <clears throat> so uh, I'll, give, I'll let you know what it's like when I wash it. Hopefully it all works out because I put a lot of work into this, guys a lot of work. Um, I don't normally work with three weight cotton or like uh, three weight yarn and I don't normally work with cotton. Um, I still have quite a bit of this left over. 
I'm thinking about maybe making a cowl and hat set. I don't know yet. It all depends on how this comes out in the wash, to be honest. <clears throat> so, um, but I loved working with it, minus the smell. Um, but I, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And it, I just did double crochets and window stitches. That's it. That's it. That's all it was. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I did them. I did, uh, in the back loop the or the, yeah, double crochets in the back loop. So but yeah, it's, it's quite, quite long, <laughs> but I really like it. Um, I think it's going to be great for the summertime, just a small tank top underneath or something. And that you're golden right? A pair of leggings or shorts or something. I think it's going to be neat. <clears throat> so yeah. So there you go, Jeanette. I was already in the process of making something when you called me out. <laughs> and you know what? You are absolutely right. I, I am in a rut. <clears throat> and a lot of people, I think, have that issue. Uh, you get into something that you really like doing and that's all you do sweaters is my thing <laughs> and I just I until I actually did this I was terrified of three weight yarn terrified of it um, I used a four millimeter hook on this <sighs> it was scary um, but I did it yay yay me um, so I think I'm going to try and do it more yeah. I don't know who I am, but, uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> so I'm in the process right now of making my movie marquee challenge project. That is also with a smaller yarn and a smaller hook than I am used to. So double whammy girl. <laughs> um, so, but I, you know what? I am totally going to take her advice. Uh, if you haven't seen her video, go check it out. I will leave that link down below. Um, she basically was talking about, you know, get out of your funk. I said funk, not, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's like you do, you get into a funk and you start doing this, doing what you're comfortable with. Step outside your comfort zone uh and try something new and a lot of people are terrified to do that the way i see it is what's the worst that could happen you know like seriously so you have to frog it or throw it away or like it's just yarn don't be afraid of yarn it's not afraid of you <laughs> you know uh, and, and yeah, do something different. I, I'm going to keep doing this until I get really comfortable with it. And then I can say that I'm multiversed in different yarns, you know, cause I am so jealous of people who can work with thin yarn, thick yarn, cotton, acrylic, wool, you know, it's like, it's, I wish I could do that. Uh, I can't work with wool because I'm allergic to it. I can't work with alpaca. Uh, I tried to work with alpaca before and then something happened. I, I tried a different kind of alpaca or something and I just, I, I was itchy like crazy. So um, just thinking about it, I'm starting to itch. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, I, I'm excited because I, I bought, um, I bought some bra inserts. They're little triangular, um, what are they called? They're bra inserts. Anyway, and I thought about making some tank top kind of things. The, you know what I think it is? I think the reason why I don't do summery clothes and stuff is because I can't fit in them. And if I can't fit in them and I can't show them on me, then um, I think 
I think people like to see it on a person. And if I can't put it on me, then it's not something I'm going to have joy in making. So I have decided that I am going to do plus size clothing, right? For love sized people. And it's going to be, and if anybody's, oh, that's another video. Um, I, I'm going to be making anything from a large, well, medium to large up to 5X. And that's going to be my niche, right? That's my thing. So um, I have to start trying to design like tops for larger people right? So that's what I've decided to do. And I had now have a Facebook website and it says right on there that it's custom, the stuff I make is customized for love sized people, right? I hate saying big people, fat people, like I, I can't, I, um, so and even fluffy saying fluffy people it i don't know it grates me wrong so george came up with the phrase love sized and i like that i think that's cute because we're all we all deserve love right it doesn't matter what size we are so yeah so i'm i'm making clothing for love sized people there you go so yeah so yeah, I'm going to now start trying to design stuff like this and um, tops that are bigger. And because if you're like me or if you're bigger or you're like anywhere between a, an extra large up to 5X, you can't find clothing, you know, and, and then you have uh, the shame and the you know, the, uh, it, it's awful. It's awful. You go into a store and people look at you like, what are you doing in here? There's nothing in here for you, you know? And it's like, excuse me. Like, and then you got to go into like the stores that have the bigger clothes. And even when you go in those stores, you still sometimes don't feel comfortable, right? even though the people that work there are bigger, right? I don't know what it is. The stigma around it just drives me crazy. So anyways, um, <clears throat> wow, going on a tangent. So I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start making clothing for, for bigger people. That's my thing. So making summer stuff is really hard for me, you know, cause I, there's not a lot of designs out there that are for, for bigger people. So yeah. Oh, I'm getting in, I'm getting a visit for my kitty. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, so thank you, Jeanette, for getting me to go outside my comfort zone and I'm going to continue to do that. So yes. So if you're interested, I will leave my website down below. Uh, and if you're interested in, in purchasing what I make, you know, let me know. Uh, and we'll see. I haven't got, any, I've got like two things up on my website already. Um, I have, I'm in the process of trying to get things up on my website, but I've been working more now and yeah, you know, there'll be a vlog that'll talk about that later. So anyways, okay. So I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Okay, bye.